Hi, this is Neil Faree. Okay, so if you're looking for some fresh ideas on how to go about developing a content curation strategy for 2012, then I think you're going to like this video because that's why I put it together. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to share with you my approach that I'm going to uh, deploy in terms of content curation, acquire good content, content syndication, tools and tips on how to push that content out to my fans, followers, and friends, and tools and tips in terms of how to automate as much as possible. So this first combination, it's actually a triage of Google Reader, the post rank extension, and integrated into the Google Chrome browser. And what it looks like is this. As you can see over on the left, here's, the, here's my five folders that I've organized. And I have a dozen or so really high quality blogs in each one of these folders. And what's neat is with the uh, post rank extension, it will automatically score every one of these blog articles. I've got mine set to show me the great or better, 5.4 or better, and I see the score. So very rapidly, I'm able to acquire really good content, syndicate that content, and the likelihood of that being well received by my audience is very high. And that's proven, you know, just time after time to be very accurate. So that algorithm is spot on. It's that time of year, of course, where you get the best of 2011. I snagged this off of what's hot off of Google+. I think this was shared... I know it was over a thousand times. I think it was 1,100 and something. And if if you want to know about SEO, here's the top SEO post for 2011. Really, really great, uh, great piece of content. And at the end of this uh, end of this video, I'll tell you about how to get that. Okay, tip number one. It's the visibly toolbar. And as you can see, I've customized it so that it fits. I've got my YouTube, my Pinterest, my RSS feed and my major Web 2.0 properties. And the way that this works is, once you've got it all set up, is anytime I send a piece of content out and I use the visibly widget right here, this bookmarklet, it'll automatically create this unique link and then this toolbar will travel with it. So that when the person is reading this piece from Real SEO, which is a great video blog by the way, um, if they hit any one of these, then they're going to land on one of my Web 2.0 properties. And I know that because the dashboard of the Visibly uh, portal, it shows me the analytics real time every 14 or 30 days. So as you can see, there's a couple hundred things here and there, and it shows me the unique clicks, the engagement bar clicks, and the reshared clicks. I snagged this one to show you that on November 3rd, 208 times, the clicks that I syndicated out to my social network got shared 208 times. That's pretty cool. That's not an insignificant number. Okay, tip number two, Pinterest. This is what the market, this is pretty much a, a new player. They just came out of beta. They launched uh, this month actually, December 2011. It's what the, the industry is calling a visual backlink. And it's really, really slick. It's by invitation only. And again, at the end of this uh, little video, I'll tell you how to, about, tell you how to get, get your hands on a Pinterest invite. Um, but you've got boards and you've got pins. Here's, the, here's the, my profile that I, I edited. I would encourage you to take full advantage of this. And the way it works is you're surfing the web. You find a piece of content. It works for both images and video. You hit that, uh, you hit the uh, the bookmarklet, the Pinterest bookmarklet, and then it pops up this interface here. All you have to do is give the piece of content, the image and or the video, a description. Just make sure that you have your keyword in it. It'll automatically drop in this link here. That's a do follow link. And you just link it to the appropriate board. Again, I'm tracking these things here. There's a whole strategy behind Pinterest, and that will require an couple other videos that I'll produce later but I would definitely get hooked up on Pinterest great content syndication and uh, curation platform um, there's no shortage of tools out there with with Twitter of course I've got a half a dozen or so that I use routinely but the newest tool that I've been using that's just 
top shelf all the way. It's a tool called Buffer. What's neat about this is um, it will automatically create a tweet for you and or you just hit the link of the page that you're on and it'll create that. It'll give you the tweet and create the link. It integrates with Bitly. Uh, the, the free version, you only get one Twitter account. The paid version like I got here, you get multiple accounts as well as Facebook, either your personal page or a business page. And you can set it up so that it tweets instantly or you can set up a pending. To do the pending, all you need to do is do a little bit of housekeeping, set up your what they call a pattern. I happen to know or I've read where tweets get read and retweeted 5 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So since I'm in L.A., I've got mine coded for 2 o'clock, which is 5 o'clock Eastern. Like I said, it integrates seamlessly with the, the Bitly API so that you can track everything. So Buffer, that's another great content syndication tool. The Scoopit platform, these guys from, they're from France. Uh, I've been using Scoopit for about five, six months. In that period of time, I've got almost 4,000 views. It's not a lot, but I've gotten a handful of new customers out of it. And it's really, really simple, just like the other ones. You've got a Scoopit uh, bookmarklet. So with it, when you're on a page, you click the bookmarklet. It'll automatically grab that content. You say which topic you want it to post it to. Boom, and you're done. It'll also syndicate it automatically once you set it up to these major Web 2.0 properties. So Scoopit is another great content curation and syndication tool. Um, depending upon how you look at the world, I would submit to you that Google Plus is going to become the premier social network for professionals. This top panel, this is my Google personal page. The bottom panel is my Google business page. Definitely encourage you to get both hooked up as soon as possible if you haven't done so already. Uh, take probably a half a dozen videos to explain all the moving parts of just how powerful and, and impactful Google Plus is. But let me show you what I've come, come across so far. Uh, like I said, I grabbed that, uh, that search engine land, the best SEO post for 2011 by grabbing the what's hot. But what I've been testing on my own content this is just one snapshot. The search term was social media backlinks. It's one thing to get feed for your feed to show up in most re most recent, because that's just LIFO, last in, first out. It's a whole nother matter for your content to be rendered up at the top of the best of. And those of us who use Google Plus extensively, we know, we all will click that, because we want to see what the algorithm says is the best content based on that search term. So I'm, I'm pretty content that my, my personal page as well as my business, Google Plus business page, that those two entries landed up at the top. And the same thing happens for video marketing and local SEO and local search marketing and, and whatnot. So absolutely positively get hooked up both personal and business page on Google Plus. It will make a difference because there's some, there's two different camps out there, but there's there's a lot of scuttle that says that social is becoming the new SEO. Now we all know that quality content trumps everything. Optimize or not optimize. If you have great content, people are going to read it, like it, subscribe to your list, and share it. And the higher your clout score is, the more likely that your content is is going to be considered good quality content. And, you know, the whole idea is that your reputation, that you become known as an expert in your field, in your niche. In my case, you know, I've only got a rank of 47, which, while it's double the average score, it's certainly not rock star status, so i got a fair amount of work to do there. But these are three good topics that I've been contributing for quite a while now, so that tracks well. Okay. And then, you know, the whole idea of this, of course, all of this social media marketing and content curation and syndication is to drive targeted traffic to your website. So your site's probably like mine. Search engines account for the vast majority of my traffic, but these other Web 2.0 properties, Stumble and YouTube, Pinterest now, Twitter, Facebook, etc., they're holding their own. But the whole idea, of course, I would submit to you that what you want to do is you want to have a pretty robust, well-designed, uh, consistent Web 2.0 link wheel. 
so that your YouTube channel and your LinkedIn profile and your Stumble and Flickr and all these authority Web 2.0 sites are pointing back to your money page there where then then you can syndicate your content with your RSS model and this comes in various forms and fashions and we've deployed this on a for a number of customers that's just working out famously okay so let me put a ribbon on this if you like this content then you could do me a favor of one hitting the like button or two subscribing to my channel so anytime I upload a new video you get to know about it or three and the preferred is leave me a comment good bad or indifferent and if you do any one of these three then I can do you the favor all you gotta do is pop over to my web my website my blog hit contact Neil there's a form right under this uh, piece here and tell me if you want this presentation with all the hyperlinks for either the PDF format or the PowerPoint format or both and if you want an invite to the Pinterest that uh, visual bookmarking platform just drop that information in there as well and I'll take care of it so that's my presentation on con that's how I'm going to go about my uh, content curation and syndication for next year among another you know quite a few other tools like you can see here here's scoop it here's amplify another great site there's visibly there's Pinterest there's Hootsuite and Twyla okay so that's all for now hope you enjoyed it thanks for your time happy holidays happy new year stay safe